Thunder. Got the big battery packs over here. See ya, doggo. Nice. Huh? Raindrops here. Yay. Yellow looks good. Can't go wrong. Right on my homie. Being in Florida, stop raining and kind of nice out here. Gave a little wash of the car practically. A little nice little spot, just a dead end tree that ends up right next to the water pretty cool nice and salty shit go for a swim or something falls in and a fucking bottle a pear looks slippery and looks like it hurt car looks kind of nice there's a dolphin right there it's funny that you've seen it, we're just about to like leave. The dolphin just chilling. I like the water's decently shallow here. Maybe over there is definitely deeper. smoothie strawberry banana I got like red tapioca regular boba and like strawberry popping
parking next to some cars that I don't really shouldn't park next to. I was gonna park over there, but definitely shouldn't park next to any of those guys. <laughs> don't qualify, especially the silver car I'm about to show. I think it's a Ferrari or a Lotus. Dude, these things are sick. That's nice RA and much of muscle. Oh, yeah, even like, that's what resident, like, the cars there and all that stuff. That's genuine carbon like fiber. Nice. Show this RA. I kind of want to show like a little bit more. There's a little bit of details of the cars instead of just quickly running through, you know? You know? Enjoy these stuff a little bit more. With the carbon fiber right there. Carbon fiber. Wheels of Little wing. And these things are sick with the red interior. All you smell is just straight like dealership. These are pretty sick, honestly. But like, I'm not, I'm not the biggest Camaro fan. Rather a Corvette, but Camaros, this thing looks pretty sick too. I'd rather a darker blue, but yeah, Corvettes are sick too. I like this color. These actually are starting to look pretty good if they're like done up. Like that orange is that pretty orange subtle. Is like a sunset like, orange. I like, I like that. that. All right, I guess we're just gonna go down the line. I've been really starting to like Volvos, okay. I mean, look, they're durable, as you can tell. So, <laughs> those Q60s, those things are pretty sick. Not Tony 911. That's by the homie, Jesus. Switch his wheels out. Yeah, speed zone. The homie, Jesus, swap some wheels out. Follow the homies. I'm sure I'll see them somewhere over here. I've seen those, I didn't see that one. Oh look, speaking of homes. Hey papa, hey papa. <laughs> Peace to that homie. Dang. So here you really get a mix of Every car, literally old school, new school, brand new cars, old ass classics, low riders, you know, exotics. Dog over here. Look at this thing real quick. Is that a KA? This thing is sick. That's some Nismo spec. It's nice. This shit is sick. These are the type of things that I would love to cruise in. Send my dad. I can see your dad driving something like that. Yeah, these things are hot. Yo, what up, dude? G Wagon, G Wagon. These older school cars. I'm trying to take these pictures because, you know, my pops would be liking these old schools. I'm trying to eventually, you know, buy one of these things. Assuming this guy does some track days or something. Big ass wing. You got all the downforces right there. So if you guys need a recharge, you already know, man. Got the big battery packs over here. I think we've seen these at a Millie, a Malibu Stadium. I don't know how these. <laughs> it was at another Tampa event. Olive green or whatever green variant that is. Sick, huh? Like, look at those two colors. But like the yellow with the champagne gold, it's kind of, it, it doesn't like, it doesn't flow right with each other. But this Corvette right here. I kind of like four-door hatches. Kind of like a four-door guy, you know. See you, doggo. That's a sick car right there. Honda, 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 love. Honda boys, Honda boys, Honda boys. <laughs> Honda love, bruh. All the SIs.
little yada. Bro, look at this custom paint job, bro. That's sick. I don't know if these are, this is like an E30. I think this is like an E30. To be watching the homies like E30 Joel, and obviously Rice from Miata has one, but it started to make me like these BMWs a lot more, like the little BMWs, even the wagons. Like I really enjoy some BMWs. Oh, let me know in the comments, guys. Are BMW problems that bad? Is it worth that luxury? Right-hand drive. Always gotta show love to my Honda peoples. Can't go wrong, it should look good. I like the Accord, like the Type R's, like the blues. Ready for Halloween over here. Sticking out the sunroof. Damn, bro, your, your ball's hanging. Good morning, y'all. It is Monday. We're going to start off with washing the car because we went on a little bit of ventures this weekend and just driving around got a little dirty this guy got it all like coated <laughs> with just saliva everywhere on both ends so that doesn't look too good so I just, yeah i just want to give it a wash <laughs> I'm trying to be quick about this because i actually have some other things in mind Make sure I'm getting everything that I need to. Yeah, yeah. Big sweeps, big sweeps, like a big mop. Get a fing cramp doing this. As you can tell, Florida's been Florida, it's hot as hell. Car is clean. It's super annoying, you know, when doing it in the harsh sun at times, and then also Florida's harsh water. It just leaves all these like water stains and whatnot. And then if I use my drying towel, you can see like the streaks that it leaves of like the dryingness too. So it's like super annoying. So I'm gonna have to come back over here with my quick detailer to get some of these water spots off and these streaks and then wipe the windows down as well. So it's like all these extra unnecessary steps, even though it's like you want to have a coating, but it's like this paint just sucks regardless. Like it doesn't want to hold nothing, don't want to stay clean, good. Yeah. And I also adjusted my clutch, gave it a better pressure feel because it's getting a little sloppy. We bled the whole system with the pump and then we did the whole, you know, usual method. It was feeling all right. And then it kind of got a little sloppy again. So I adjusted the clutch. It feels right now has like a stronger pressure feel to it and it's grabbing a little bit better. I don't know if it's something to just do with pressure plate wise, something with the clutch itself, you know, like it, it could be, could very well be. So you know um so yeah try to get into some of this welding stuff bust out this welder and see like if i know how to use it you know if it works or not do what you gotta do man so this pipe cutter thing kind of sucks you it has its purpose if you have more of like sturdier stand and stability and shit like that more room then probably be a bit better but with me i mean i cut the second one a little bit better but then at the end it doesn't get the last bit so it ends up creating like a little bend and divot because you have to kind of rip it off so yeah i need to figure out a better uh cutting solution get an angle grinder and whatnot but that's not the straightest cuts either and i could do a chop saw but then i don't have like a whole good table set up as well but I could, could have done chop saw. So if I need more, I might do the chop saw method. I said chop saw, I don't got one. I mean sawzall. First thing people think of to cut some shit, you know, steal a cat, you know, cut a little converter. So yeah, sawzall, hacksaw, sawzall. What is good, y'all? Just wanted to show you real quick what I've been up to the last hour or so, whatnot. Because I went inside, made some breakfast, some protein pancakes, eggs, and sausage. And I was supposed to show you guys, but I forgot because I was kind of hungry, just wanted energy. Came back out here. As you guys seen, I was using the freaking cutter. I need to figure out a better solution just so it's a lot quicker and easier. Which I'm probably going to use is just like a sawzall or something. But I'm over here using this booger splatter creator and making some booger splatters but 
Hey, honestly, like, some of it's penetrating pretty decently. Like, you see on the inside, like, it's kind of discolored. It's kind of penetrating going through. Um, obviously, some areas are splattered and layered because I'm just going over and going over and trying to fill. I was messing with settings because, obviously, I was burning a little bit of holes. So, I was coming back around and filling them up and just kind of seeing what works. Because I got to clean up and get ready for work. I feel like it would hold. I'm just trying to find a little bit better consistency so I could get it, you know, a little bit cleaner because I want to get my exhaust and header thing situated on and need a new flex book because that shit sound crazy. If I had a little bit better one of like the Vulcan or whatever, the green and orange one, if I had a little bit better one of those, I feel like it would kind of go a little bit easier, better. Sure, it's going to hold regardless, but hey, do what we do with what we got. What's going on guys? We are lifting up this white TSX, getting off the suspension, and then we have to take out the subframe so we can start getting all up underneath stuff situated under the wheel wells and like just front radiator support and whatnot, you know, get that all completed. Slight like speed run on this side. So, got this side out in no time, and really, really, it just four bolts right there for the upper mounts. Boom, boom, boom. Back there, I think one or two on each side. Yeah. I do also want to get into this welding stuff because I was leaving off with that. Harbor Freight. Flex core Chicago electric welder. <laughs> I'm just trying to learn because I just want to do a couple things myself and get stuff just like the exhaust, the header that I got for 100 bucks. Fix that up, catch this up, put a little material up in there, and go from there, you know. Alrighty, y'all, we're doing a little bit of bouncing between stuff. I noticed right here it was like bubble now I'm starting to chip or whatever. I don't know what's good with that. Either way, things are gonna be sanded down anyway and redone and primered. But today we're taking a little bit what I have time left to is mess with this welder again. Um welder's over there. I don't know why. Pointed over there. But uh yeah, laying down some booger splatters and just trying to figure out what what works and how to go about it and yada yada, you know? So, I know that's not the best welder and flux core is not the best for MIG, you know? It's better to have some gas and it's cleaner, less splatters and shit like that. But from what I've seen online, you could find and make some pretty, you know, nice welds for just little projects and things that I gotta do, so. It's like I want to do that header thing. I got to patch up a little whole thing over there. So, yeah. Um, all you could do is try. Try and keep going. 
So we got ourselves set up right here. Just gonna put on stuff and then my gloves because we are safety first. I mean, I know I definitely should be wearing pants instead, but at least I got some long socks on, right? I got my sleeves on though. ones I did this one was like kind of like the best one I don't know how I did that one as good it's like a lot of discoloration splattering so it's obviously it's not the best of the best but I feel like it's like get a hang of it of what wire speed and like you know heat and how the movement and all that get these things going and things connected it'll be a start guys so so let me know if you guys want me to weld your cloth i'll charge like i don't know i feel like 45 dollars an hour is pretty fair for this you know maybe like 50 ish and that's like that's kind of giving you guys a deal because you know you guys are the homies and you've always been supporting me so 50 dollars 50 dollars an hour you know and i'll weld up your exhaust make sure there's a nice thick layer so it don't break you know your performance motors won't break my welds even if it is flux core no matter where life takes me find me with a smile pursuit to be happy on me laughing like a child i never thought like a 